Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Games with Ben. Uh, this is a special one for me. This is a non-paid, non-promotional video. Uh, my first one of these uh, that I'm going to do for all play today. Um, again, they have not paid me for this, uh, but I thought I'd make a video anyway because I recently got their Jasper shelves, which are currently on Kickstarter along with a bunch of their other products. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the Jasper shells specifically, uh, my experience with them, kind of how, uh, how the assembly works and some pros and cons of the shelves. And hopefully if you're kind of on the fence about buying these shelves, this will help you with your decision. So without further ado, let's, you guys are going to get a glimpse of my messy basement, uh, since I just recently finished assembling these. Uh, so here's how assembly works. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's even more straightforward than Ikea furniture, which is wonderful. Uh, so here I've got a shelf partly assembled. Uh, the nice part about these shelves, one is that they're modular, obviously, based on the name. So there's only two sizes, right? There's a, there's a small and there's a large. Uh, and you can create three different size shelves out of those. So if you put four smalls together, uh, that's going to be a small shelf. If you do a small, two longs, and another small, that's a, that's a tall or a wide, depending on how you configure it. Um, and then if you do four larges all together, that's going to be a giant cube. Um, so makes it really easy for assembly um, it probably makes it really easy on all play as well uh, so the way this works is each of these has uh, this little threaded connector in here you can see there's two on the ends of each side um, and then on the part that goes on top there are again holes so you'll simply match those up um, the screw will go through the top part here, it'll go into this bottom part here, and it'll it'll just thread right in there. Um, so super straightforward. I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand, I don't think. Uh, but just goes like that. It comes with a little uh, Allen wrench bit. It's the same bit for all the screws, which makes it very convenient. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the assembly. Uh, the other part that they will give you is uh, these connecting screws. Uh, so these guys are what's used to connect the shelves to each other. Um, so you'll see this one has a hole in it uh, and it's threaded on the inside. This one does not have a hole on it and it's threaded on the outside. Uh, so those two just connect to each other. Can't do it with one hand, but they connect to each other. So it'll end up looking like this when you're done. So you'll put, uh, you'll put one on the bottom, you'll put the other one on the top, screw them together. And that's kind of how the shelves stay attached to each other. So that's how the assembly works. Um, it's very straightforward. I was able to do uh, my entire room all by myself. Uh, it took a couple days, uh, but was able to get it done. Um, and it was very straightforward, didn't run into any issues. So let's dive in. Um, I'm gonna start with some of the, the cons uh, because there's not a lot of them. Uh, and the ones that are there are are very small. Um, so first con is I had a couple shelves come back here to this uh, threaded insert here. I had a couple shelves and let me zoom back out here. Just a reminder of all these shelves that I purchased. I believe I had two, maybe three shelves that were missing this threaded insert, um, which obviously made the shelf super unstable. What I was able to do is just, I used some wood screws instead of the screws they provided and just found some longer ones that screwed directly into this wood. Um, so I was able to alleviate the problem that way. Um, but there were 
let's say those couple small quality control issues with two or three of the shelves that I purchased. Uh, so that was one. Uh, another one was with these connecting screws. I had a similar issue where if we go back to this guy that's threaded on the inside, I again had like two or three of these that were missing the threads on the inside. Um, so you went to screw it in, it wasn't getting tight, couldn't figure out what was happening, and then I looked and there were no threads. Uh, so that'll do it. As you can see, there are they send you plenty of hardware here. Uh, so this is all the extra uh, that I did not use. So, um, you know, the fact that I had some issues with a couple of these connecting screws was uh, not a problem because I have a million extra. So, uh, brings me to my third con is that there are way too many screws in here. Um, and I mean, I'd rather have too many than not enough, but uh, I feel like there, there's there got to be some sort of middle ground uh, because this is going to this is going to create a lot of waste, which I'm not thrilled about. Um, I can keep them for, you know, some random projects I might use them for, but ultimately most of this will probably not get used. Fourth con, uh, this has to do with the shelves. So shelves are an optional purchase. Uh, I'm going to use this one as an example. So this is a, one of the tall ones. You can buy these shelves uh, to kind of help with organizing or stacking or whatever. Um, they, they sit on these little guys. Uh, so you can see there's four of those. The shelf just rests on top. The con about these shelves is that they're built to work with the backing on the other shelf. So you see mine does not have backing. I just see the wall behind me. Um, if it did have backing, you would see the, the dark walnut color, the same color as these shelves. Uh, so the issue is with no backing like I have, this shelf can very easily just fall off. If the backing was back there, it would push against the backing and you wouldn't be able to move it. Uh, but with no backing, it very easily just kind of falls off those, those little platforms. Um, so not a huge deal for me. Uh, you know, if you use these, if you had a bunch of these shelves all over the place and you were constantly moving things around, uh, it might get kind of annoying, but uh, for me, now that I know it's there, it kind of surprised me the first couple times, but like now that I know it's like that, I'm just a little more careful as I take games on and off these shelves. All right, that was number four. Uh, the last one, and this has to do with the, again, optional drawers. Uh, overall, I think the drawers are pretty good, uh, but you can kind of tell that they're not completely level. Uh, so you can see like, you know, some of these have wider gaps in between them than others. Uh, you know, this one's a little bit slanted where there's a larger gap here and it kind of tilts up. There's not as big of a gap there. Um, so if you're a perfectionist, that might drive you a little bit crazy. Um, they don't look like the most professional drawers like this. They look almost handmade, uh, but I will say they're very smooth. I really like the push to open. Um, so yeah, it's just more the look of it. Uh, it's perfectly functional, works just like it should, um, but it's not, not totally even, not totally level, which might drive someone crazy. Um, I'm gonna live with it. All right, those are all the cons I had, all very small kind of nitpicky things in my mind. Um, let me jump over to the pros. So first pro, I'll get right to it, is the packaging. Uh, so out of all these shelves, just to zoom back in here, I had you know a ton of shelves. Um, I did not have a single 
defect or damaged shelf. Uh, I guess I had a couple defects with the screws I mentioned earlier, uh, but no, no damage to speak of on any of my shelves um, because of this packaging that they've done. So uh, every single box you get will look like this. There will be, you know, styrofoam on the top. Um, the shelves themselves will have all of these cardboard uh, corner protectors uh, and then more styrofoam at the bottom. Uh, and everything is always saran wrap together. Uh, so it's really, uh, things, aren't, things aren't moving in there and there's plenty of gap space around each side of the box that even if a box did get damaged or hit with something, uh, a corner got dinged, like these, these shelves are so far away from the sides that it'd have to be something pretty uh, catastrophic to actually damage these things. So packaging, I was very impressed with. Uh, moving on, the quality of the wood is also very high. Um, it's very thick and it's nice hard wood uh, and it looks amazing. Um, I don't remember exactly what kind of wood it's made out of. I want to say maybe oak. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but it's super high quality and you notice it right away as soon as you take the shelves out um, that these are gonna these are gonna last a lifetime. So super impressed with the quality. Uh, also very easy to assemble as I showed you earlier. Uh, all you got to do is line up the holes and put the screws in. Um, the, the screws that you use uh, to assemble the shelves as well as the uh, connecting screws use the same uh, size Allen wrench. So makes it even more convenient. You never really have to change that out. Um, so was very, very impressed with that. Um, the shelves are also very sturdy. Uh, so give you a, give you a demonstration. I can shake them and they don't move. Uh, I actually have these mounted to my wall. I bought some, uh, some wall anchors at Home Depot and mounted those. Um, this side I have not mounted yet and it's still very sturdy. Shakes a little bit when I shake it, uh, but it is, it is not going anywhere. I will eventually mount this side as well, just for safety reasons. Um, but more, more out of uh, extreme caution than necessity. All right, uh, and obviously I can't, uh, can't finish my pro list without mentioning, again, the fact that these are completely modular. Um, you can kind of configure them however you want which is awesome uh, and even more awesome if you're someone that moves around a lot, uh, moves to different houses, you can uh, take these shelves with you and, and reconfigure them to your new space however you need it. Um, and last thing I'll mention is that uh, they just look fantastic and are extremely functional. Uh, I think they do what they were built for, which is displaying board games uh, very well. Um, so I am overall very, very impressed. Uh, would highly recommend Jasper shelves to anyone considering it. Um, one last thing I'll mention uh, because it'll probably be a hot topic is the price. Um, so the price is not cheap. Uh, if you're you know comparing it to Ikea, uh, Ikea is gonna win that price battle every time. Uh, but I do really believe you're paying for something very high quality with these Jasper shelves. Uh, and for me, in my opinion, it was well worth the extra cost for that. So I appreciate you guys joining me today to look at the Jasper shelves. They are still currently on Kickstarter as of the time this video was made. Uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, I will give you my, my honest feedback in the comments. Uh, so feel free to ask me anything. Uh, again, uh, All Play did not sponsor this video. I made this of my own free will. Uh, so these are my honest thoughts about these shelves. Uh, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to, to drop them in the comments. Appreciate you guys. This has been Games with Ben, and I'll see you next time.